แมะแมะแมะแมะเราอยู่ในเมริแลนด์ฮันนิงซิกาสตาก์ที่นี่นอนนิวเคราะห์ที่ถูกพบในพื้นที่ตะวันตกของทะเลที่เหนือเชียงใหม่และพวกเขาเป็นสัตว์ประหลาดที่สุดในโลกในขณะนี้ผมและเจอร์ดเชฟเฟอร์ได้เรียนรู้เรื่องเกี่ยวกับจินเจอร์นินจ์ที่เราจะไปฆ่าพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ในการทำงานที่ยาวจนกว่าจะได้เจอพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ในการทำงานที่ยาวจนกว่าจะได้เจอพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ในการทำงานที่ยาวจนกว่าจะได้เจอพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ในการทำงานที่ยาวจนกว่าจะได้เจอพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ในการทำงานที่ยาวจนกว่าจะได้เจอพวกมนุษย์เหล่านี้ใน Good surprise. We uh, rolled into camp. It's about we got in about four o'clock, so we geared up real quick and we're headed out to hunt this evening. So. Night number one here on the eastern shore in Maryland. We didn't get to scout. We're just going off intel from our buddy Billy. It's his property we're hunting, and he said this is a good area traditionally. So. We already heard a squeal or a roar or bugle or whatever it is you call it. What seekers do, but it was freaking loud. I couldn't believe it. But it's out there in the marsh, and he's like, blah blah blah. It was awesome. So hopefully that dude comes in here. For our first morning, we hunted the same exact spots as the previous night. The stags were bugling like crazy, and like my dad taught me, you never leave fish to find fish. So we decided to camp out in the same location. First morning, there is a pile of sick of deer out here behind us in the marsh, like a pile. We've already seen at least three stags. They're just a long way away. I don't even know if we can get them on camera. I was pulled up on X and checked. It's like four or five hundred yards. So we're gonna hunker up and sit here all morning, and we just need one to cooperate. We just saw our first Sitka stag. He was a little spike, so we let him go. But he walked through here just perfect, right on the edge of that marsh. Now, for you whitetail guys out there. That spike may have been three or four years old, believe it or not. We learned from Billy and his dad Bill that these stags, well, they're elk. They're not whitetails, and they take longer to mature and grow larger antlers. A sicka stag could be a spike for several years. While we're at it, can we just call these things bulls and not stags? I mean, they're miniature elk, right? We're not in Europe or the UK. We don't have stags or hinds. We have cows and bulls. I vote we stick with bulls. Anyway, the weather didn't cooperate over the next couple days, and sightings were slim. But on the last day of the hunt, something magical was about to happen. I see him all the way. I see his whole body. All right, he just pat it down. He just pat it down. That's a nice seeker right there. He's looking our way. Dude, that's a freaking stud. Yeah, I just saw the tips.
แมะแมะแมะแมะแต่ seriously this is like shooting a 200 inch white tail like uh, this look this is this is a giant like an oh, absolute I knew it was a giant but slammer, like, I don't know slammer. how big they get you know I, that big it, that yeah. that's how big they get yeah. like if after I saw when when you said you were texting and we're literally I'm I'm sitting at the bar cuz I'm done <laughs> like I'm tagged, yeah, tagged out right out. so I'm sitting at the bar like well I guess I'll have a little Tito's and soda you know <laughs> text come across and says We see this giant stag, and he's 100 yards away. He's coming in. I just shot a giant, <laughs> and then you shit sent a picture of a <laughs> screenshot of this monster <laughs> in in the needle grass or coming from the needle grass. And Dad gets the text too. We named that one G Captain Hook because his eye guards are yeah, like they're, just, they're, they're just gigantic. Yeah. He's he's a monster. When <sighs> you shot, he was already bringing it forward, yeah. and then when it but arrow, when it hit, hit yeah. he was full up, fully and it, extended. It hit right in the pocket. Perfect. Yeah. If, if if it didn't hit that other side leg or or come out close to it, yeah. I'd be blown away. Yeah. It, as soon as I saw it, I said, "Dead deer." He's yeah. Done. We just couldn't tell on the on the viewfinder on the on the camera, so we put it on the on the computer, zoomed in, watched it frame by frame several times, and he's. He's. I bet he was dead within 10 seconds. Probably. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking he's down. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Let's go find him." Yeah. Because he's yeah. he's cooked. I yep. mean, and plus, when it gets dark down here <laughs> yeah, it's, in the marsh, it's bad. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's hard to find anything yeah. in the daytime. So so let's let's get out let's after. Let's get out before these other guys come back and we gotta tell the story all over again. Oh, it'll be fun. <laughs> Look, tell, you're gonna tell this story a thousand times in I your know, lifetime. Know. You know, because get him awesome. and then we'll hoot and holler. We'll <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. For a bow hunter, there are few things better than short, easy blood trails. When you don't see the animal fall, no matter how confident you are in the shot, you're always nervous about the recovery. In this situation, Jared's shot was perfect, and in just 75 short yards, he wrapped his hands around what might be the new Maryland state record Sika bull. See what I did there? Congratulations, Jared! You're one of the best bow hunters I know, and the entire camp was stoked to see this incredible creature hit the ground. Yeah, dude, he's a beauty. That's a beautiful star, <sighs> bro. Ah, oh, dude, thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Look at the beauty. neck on that thing. Freaking he's, smoked him. He smoked. I can't believe there wasn't more blood on the ground. Look hey. at the blood coming out of his nose. That's a beauty, man. Oh my god. How did he not bleed more? Seriously, that's a perfect shot. Holy oh. Christ. Dude, oh my god. I told you he was a giant. Dude. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> That's a, that's a congratulations, bud. Oh, that is awesome. He is a giant. Look at that. Look at his neck. He is a giant. That's a monster. You're not going to ever see. You topped your number. You sure might as well quit. Blew, you blew your <laughs> so load. Quit. I, I, when I, he had his head like this, I was like, that's a big white tail. Because he was just sideways. 
Look at those fronts. Great shot, man. He was walking, too. I thought I hit him back, but he had his leg extended all the way forward. They went right in the pocket. Yeah, we, we went back and reviewed the footage. <clears throat> and as soon as the arrow went through him, I said, let's, go get, let's him. go get him. <laughs> I was like ready That's to puke. I thought, I thought that I hit him back. Oh, yeah. Got it. All right, guys. Well, I'm in utter disbelief, to be honest. Um, I've wanted to hunt these things for a long, long time. And uh, thanks to Bill and Billy, um, they invited us out here to hunt on their property, which I'm, I appreciate more than they know. But uh, they invited us out, and it's been an incredible trip. Um, I asked Josh when we got over here, I was like, you want to go sit out on the big marsh just so we can see some territory and kind of end you know, our last night here. And I had no expectation of really shooting anything, just maybe hoping to get lucky. But uh, this dude stood up 100 yards away in the marsh, and uh, I threw out a couple really crappy cow calls at him. And I don't know if that's what brought him in, but he came in, nose in the air, uh, crosswind. I mean, just typical, you know, mature animal, you know, thing that they do. But uh, he came in, and uh, I, honestly, I was a little worried about the shot. I thought it was a little bit far back. But uh, we went back to camp, watched the footage, and, you know, saw that it was a good shot. So we came in, and heck, he didn't make it 100 yards, and it wasn't too much of trouble to find him. So that's a wrap on the... Maryland sick of deer. Guys, thank you seriously. I, I appreciate it so much. Ginger Ninja! <laughs> <laughs>